Okay, so today OnePlus is busy rolling out July security patch for OnePlus smartphones. Morning, we got the update for OnePlus 11 and now we have a new update for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. So in this video, we'll talk about all the changes what OnePlus have done with this newer build for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 9. First of all, let me show you the software information. I've already updated the device to latest build and I received the OTA update on my OnePlus 9. If you take a look at the version which is .590 and if I show you the security patch it's of 5th July 2023. The update size for my OnePlus 9 was around 651 MB and if you guys haven't received the OTA update wait for a day or two. Meanwhile you can join a telegram group I'll provide you the zip files of incremental OTA update. As always let's talk about the benchmark results and we'll compare it with the previous one. So with the Geekbench application single core have scored 1362 and multi-core scores are 3364. On the previous build single core scores were 1335 and multi-core scores were 3521. So slightly lower benchmark results are seen when it comes to multi-core scores. But unlike OnePlus 11, we did not get to see any kind of throttling issues on OnePlus 9. We did CPU throttling test of 100 thread up to 30 minutes with high performance mode turned on and you can see maximum CPU throttled up to 88%. On the previous build also there were no throttling issues but their maximum CPU throttle 84%. So when it comes to throttling OnePlus 9 doesn't throttle at all even in high performance mode. And guys now before moving ahead if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing. Now first let me show you the change logs. So there's not much of changes done even on OnePlus 11 they did not do much of changes. Here changes are layered to system, communication and camera. So under system these are basic stuff which they add in every build and communication also we had similar change logs of OnePlus 11. But when we talk about the camera fixes here you can see they say fix an issue where exclusive Hasselblad watermark is not fully displayed in certain scenarios. So I went through all the comments of previous video and in that I found out few users were reporting that they did update their device to the latest build but they don't get the support of newer Hasselblad watermark. So hopefully you guys will see this new watermark on this newer build which is .590. If you have seen my previous build there also I personally had no issues and on this build also this watermark is present. And here are some camera samples on almost every photo. If you have enabled the new Hasselblad watermark that do appears now with no issues at all. And we have seen on OnePlus 9 series, we used to see a lot of laggy videos when we record them in 4K. You consider main lens or ultra wide. So here we did test out after updating the device towards the left hand side that video is recorded in 4K at 30 FPS and towards the right hand side that video is recorded in 4K at 60 FPS. In both the videos, I did notice little bit of jitters for initial 2 to 3 seconds. And I think this issue has still not been fixed. Not sure when OnePlus gonna fix it. But yes, I did notice little bit of jitters or you can say lagginess at initial 2 to 3 seconds. But you guys let me know in the comment section below after this update do you guys face the same thing or not and a lot of users even on oneplus 11 lost widewind certification on the previous update but now it seems to be fixed i'll show you on my oneplus 9 let's download the application called drm info and here you can see the security level is still l1 and if we talk about the applications like netflix under playback specifications we have widewind l1 and also HDR10 capability. So personally for me, there are no issues with the Widevine L1 security level. Also another issue which I noticed on this latest build after installing it, there are little bit of issues with the auto brightness stuff. So whenever I toggle auto brightness, you can see a small video which I recorded that transitions or you can say animations are not that smooth, which we have seen on Oxygen OS 13.1. Might be a temporary bug, but yes, this is what I observed. And still they haven't added the battery health option on OnePlus 9 series and 10 series. Though that feature is available on OnePlus Nord. So I think it's not any hardware restrictions. If OnePlus wants to add, they can add on any smartphone running Oxygen OS 13.1. And another thing which is missing here on OnePlus 9 series is layered to multi-screen connect. So here you can see I have my OnePlus 11 on which we have an extra option called communication sharing. So it's a very useful feature
feature if you have oneplus pad for those who don't have oneplus pad i don't think it's a required feature but for people who are planning to buy oneplus pad then this feature would be really helpful because from here you can share your mobile data calling sharing messaging services so if you get any call on your oneplus smartphone that you can receive it on your oneplus pad also i hope oneplus adds this feature on every device running oxygen os 13.1 because here if you see it says the device should have Oxygen OS 13 or later version. And we have OnePlus 9 which is running Oxygen OS 13.1 but still we don't get to see that feature. So guys there's nothing much to cover in this video because as per the change logs we get nothing new with this July security update but as we always do our in-depth review video. So if you guys have any kind of questions you guys can let me know in the comment section below. I'll cover them in the review video. As of now only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.